they have to obtain the resources that are required for development either by loan or otherwise there is the other need also to be examined in this connection the need of passenger amenities both inside these houses of parliament as well as outside it has been agitated that passenger amenities are required to be given in a larger and larger number the second class passengers before independence did not get adequate amenities in fact the condition of the bogies the condition of the waiting rooms the condition of catering facilities and the condition of housing all these things needed much attention although the railways have now taken up the amenities program and according to the recommendation of the convention committee we are now earmarking rupees 3 crores per annum for this purpose still i think it is totally inadequate the railway administration has now recognized the fact that greater and greater passenger amenities are to be given but they are not going on the right lines i may make this statement clear by saying that they are not following proper lines with regard to the amenities that are to be given para i will take just one example and point out how they fall short of the requirements well the question of providing waiting halls for second class passengers has been a much mooted question and that naturally gets a top priority in the amenities program well the so called waiting halls that are now provided are like this the halls are there the exit gate from the platform opens into the hall and the entry gate into the platform opens into the hall so much so that in fact the hall is only a passage when people come and go how can the second class passengers take rest here that is a question which i have not been able to understand secondly for the passengers who have to wait for a number of hours in these halls necessary sanitary facilities should be provided now the sanitary arrangements may be inside the platform where the waiting passengers can not go and if they go and commit nuisance outside the policeman will be there to haul them up and prosecute them under the police regulations for committing nuisance so it is not imagined that when passengers are required to wait for 10 hours or 12 hours in these waiting halls they should have some bathroom facilities as we have for first class or for higher class passengers that thing has not been visualized even for our cattle sheds in our houses we have doors and windows but here for these second class waiting halls there is neither a door nor a window nor an enclosure this i say to draw the attention of the authorities to think of these amenities in their proper proportion their estimate of the requirements of funds for these amenities 
इज एन अंडर एस्टिमेट द नीड्स फॉर इंक्रीजिंग द एम्यूनिटीज आर लार्ज